All right, let's start in Tadasana, standing at the top of the mat for some nice deep breaths. Spread your toes, anchor yourself down. Roll the shoulders back and down, and then let the hands just you know, fall naturally, give them a little shake. Start to engage the quads with a gentle tuck of the tailbone, draw the navel in, close the eyes, relax the muscles in the face, the forehead, eyebrows, jaw, and tongue soften. Take a moment to settle into your space, letting go of any outside noises, distractions, any thoughts creeping into the mind, any judgment or expectations on your practice or anyone else. Take a deep breath in and a big audible sigh. <sighs> Let the shoulders fall, lose the weight of the world. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. <sighs> Transitioning into a Ujjayi Pranayama breath. Trying to breathe through the nose if that works for you and listening to that audible sound that makes. And using that as the soundtrack for your practice. Trying to match the breaths with the movements. And as you continue to take these deep breaths, maybe you're rocking into the toes and the heels or making subtle circles on the feet of challenging the balance just a little bit, engaging the core, and then finding your center, grounding into the earth, rising up another few inches or centimeters up towards the sky with the crown of the head. Inhale, let's stretch the arms up. Take the palms together and bend the elbows, thumb to the base of the neck, shine the heart upward. See how your spine is feeling, it might not be a deep back bend, just really think of heart to sky. And then take your elbows wide, press your hands into the base of the skull, tuck the chin down, and lift it up. Exhale, chin towards chest. Inhale, heart to sky. Put a little tension, pressing the head upward as you reach the heart up at the same time. Exhale. Let's keep going into a forward fold and just let your head take you there. When you get there, we can release the hands, shake out the head no and yes. Take some time to circle the wrists. If you can reach the ground, maybe pressing some weight into the hands or just bend the knees if you need to. Pressing down like you're going to press into a handstand, push the shoulders. Take a little lean into widespread fingers, lift tailbone, lift toes, lift heels, and tailbone, lift toes. Again, it's okay to have bent knees, push the shoulders down, and soften everything. Come into a half fold with your thighs connected to your belly. Send the arms back. Good. And then we'll just release out of the quads, straighten the legs, crown of the head forward. Bend, exhale, halfway fold. Inhale, deep squat, exhale, halfway fold. Inhale, squat, lift the, lift the arms to Utkatasana, chair pose. Tailbone back, belly pulling in towards the spine now, half fold into your chair, so not quite as compressed this time. Waking up the hamstrings, squeeze the glutes, pull the belly in, core is active one more time. Inhale, exhale, halfway fold. Good, drive all the way up and come onto your tippy toes for a little balance here. Arms back behind the ears, dropping down into a balancing chair or perhaps a toe stand if you feel like your knees and hip flexors are ready to go deep. Take a deep breath in. See how your balance is feeling. Compress the fingertips and the palms. Come back out, engage quads and core. Oh, try not to fall. And palms down by your side. Deep breath in, heart rate's climbing. And big sigh out, let's move. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, swan dive to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's plant the hands and walk backwards this first time. Finding yourself in a high plank, 
Protract the shoulders, tuck the tailbone. Grip the mat with all 10 fingers. Index finger forward, crease of the elbows forward. Tap knees, eight, seven, six, five, four. A little hip and knee jit. Here's three, two, one. Good, knees down. Take an extended child's pose. Drop the head for just a breath. And then charge the gaze and the heart forward as you take a knee suggestion. Two more like that. Extend in child's pose. Charge forward, knee suggestion. Good. Building heat and strength in the upper body and knee suggestion. Coming into tabletop for some cat. Round the spine. Exhale. Inhale, cow. Pull the shoulders back. Send the heart forward. Imagine you're pulling the mat backwards. Physically try to do that. Exhale, round. Push the mat forward. Protract the shoulders. Puff up through the back of the heart. Inhale. And exhale. And then free flow. Any movements that feel good on the spine. Circling, swaying, wagging your tail. Nice. Hover the knees. Stretch the top of the feet. Bounce here for four, three, two, and one. Soft landing. Right foot comes up into a donkey style kick, and we're going to do that for two. Two, one, drop to the forearm, left hand wraps right wrist. And we do the same thing. Two, one, come onto the hand. Two, push the shoulders down, squeeze the belly, lower to the forearm. Two, couple more sets. Grip the mat with your fingers. Two, donkey kick, forearm, donkey kick. Let's do the last set here on the hands. And down on the forearm, we'll stay. Hold it here. Extend that leg out. Tap the toe down for four. Tap three, gaze ahead. Two and one. Tuck the toes. Bring the hands down, or arms down, elbows down. And then start to lift up to a dolphin single leg. Down, stretch it up. See how your hamstrings are feeling? Push the chest towards the toes. Strengthening the shoulders, trying to find some flexibility through the hip flexor. Good, the legs, the chest. Breathe, come on down. Extended child's pose, deep breath in. Shift the hips from side to side, give them a wiggle, and come up for the other side. Left foot up for two, forearm up. You grab your left wrist this time. Donkey kick up to the sky. Lower to the forearm, same move with the legs. Keep the belly plugged in towards the spine. Good, pit of the belly, drawing in, hamstring glute, squeeze as you lift. Strength, not just flailing or swinging. Lower, exhale, hands down, forearm down, nice soft landing. Last set here on your hands, and down to the right elbow, forearm. Hold it, extend that leg. Tap down for four, three, two, and one. Reset those hands, right fingers forward, Left elbow comes down, tuck the right toes, start to hover, and then lift that leg. Dolphin split, soft landing, dolphin split, soft landing, pull the legs in opposition, drop the heel towards the earth, chest towards toes, legs as high as you can, and lower. Last one, exhale, and lower. Come back to the hands. And tabletop. Tuck those toes under for downward facing dog. Pedal into the heels. Sway those hips from side to side. Feel your side body lengthen as you drop one knee and pivot, twist it towards the other side of the mat. Bend the other knee and pivot. Twist that knee across the other leg. Coming back through down dog. Right leg lifts high. Bend the knee, stack the hip open, and just sway it open and closed a few times. See how that feels rotating, kind of challenging that balance on the left foot. Maybe the right fingertips pop up. Neutral, square out, tuck the knee to the nose, hold it, drop the knee to the earth, knee to nose, step on through. Back knee lands, low lunge, 
and half split. Low lunge, tuck the pelvis, lift up to 90-90, sink into a deeper low lunge, and then shift back. Flex the front toes, find length in the spine one more time. Low lunge, take neutral, pelvic tilt, sink a little bit, relax, shift back. Twist your half split, and then take it into a lunge as you, while you're twisting. Lift the back knee up. Circle that right arm around the back. Bring it in front of you. We're gonna push weight into the right foot and the left hand and thread through. Come on back, add your twist. Thread through, sink, kick through, hold, push the left shoulder down, a little depression, pull the belly in, come back where you came from. Twist again, and this time, when we send the right foot back, we're gonna lower to the forearms for that dolphin split again. So dolphin split to knee tight tuck and plank, to knee tuck. Dolphin split, tight knee tuck, compression, knee to nose, dolphin split, knee tuck, lower the knee, step back where you came from, repeat the series, right left leg, leg. lifts, press the chest towards the toes, like you're trying to push the mat forward. Bend the knee, stack open the hip, and just sway. Maybe circles or just making the knee go down and upward to the sky. Draw the belly in, challenge that balance. Maybe the left, ooh, fingers pop up for a moment on fingertips or balance. <laughs> Come on back. Square the hips, re-extend. Knee to nose, tap floor. Knee to nose, hug the heel in, step through. Low lunge, back knee towards the right. Hips melt. Half split. Come on up as you low lunge. Find a neutral pelvis, pelvic tilt, 90-90 lunge. Really squeeze the belly in. And then sink forward, keeping the knee in line with the toes. Shift back for your half split. Gaze and heart forward, flex the toes, engage the quad. Sink down. Scoop up the belly, almost like you're hollowing out. Feel how that stretches the hip flexor and quad. And then release forward, shift back, half split. Twist in your half split, stack the shoulders. Move through, twisting low lunge. Tuck the toes, twisting lunge. Look forward, maybe widen your feet and hand away from each other. Thread the right foot through. Come on back, twisting lunge. Left hand forward, right foot kicks through the open space. Come on back, twist your lunge. Breathe here, exhale, hands down. Lower the hips, when the leg sweeps back, the forearms melt to the earth. Hold it, knee to nose in plank. Dolphin split, lower to the forearms, careful and slow. Knee to nose in plank. Dolphin split, knee to nose in plank, tap the floor, step it on back. Pedal out, take some hops here, bend the knees, start to get, feel this buoyancy, hips bounce up and down, you're on the balls of the feet, we'll just jump into a tuck a few times. Tuck those knees towards the chest, spread your fingers, push the shoulders down, see how that feels, down dog. Catch your breath. Next one, we'll jump forward to forward fold, Uttanasana. Bend, gather up that buoyancy, hips up. Push the shoulders down, engage the quads and core, and slow lower. Halfway lift, exhale, fold. Folding twist, right hand towards left wrist, rotate left arm up. Big breath, wrap the hand behind the back, spin, straighten the bottom arm. Release it all, shake the head. Left hand around right wrist, bed knees are perfectly okay. Twist the right arm up. Breathe as you fold. Right arm behind the back body. Extend the left arm straight. Bring it back in, flush out. Right delt to rise, maybe a little bounce as you stack the vertebrae. Shoulders roll a few times here. All right, let's slow. Inhale, reach the arms up. Gaze to fingers. Exhale, swan dive. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands down. So this might be a jump right back into chaturanga or plank, or you could come through a crow pose, cat the back, lean into the fingers, hug the heels in, push the shoulders down, squeeze, 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 jump back, shoot those legs back as the heart goes forward. Upward facing dog. All right, we haven't been here, so let's settle the hips onto the mat and then just start to move three times. Inhale, exhale. Keep the pelvis down. Inhale, straighten the arms as much as you can. No force. Inhale, shoulders back, heart forward. Extended child's pose. Extended child's pose to cobra or upward facing. We're going to roll forward, send the hips through. Roll back. Send the hips back. Roll forward. Hips through, bend the elbows if needed. Round the spine. Child's pose. Downward facing dog, tuck the toes, lift those hips. Right leg lifts high. Bend the knee, stack open the hip. Left forearm melts, right fingertips wide. Take a breath and then pop right back out. Step through. High lunge. Good. Lunge. Pry the heart open and then charge forward. Pry the heart open, soft landing, charge forward. Open up, half moon, Ardha Shandrasana. Pull the arms in up position, flex out the back toes. Bend the knee, start to reach the toes towards the earth. Reverse elbow to hip, arm reaches over, pop the front heel, elevate. Side angle. Elbow to hip, expand the left fingers forward. Elbow to back hip, right fingers reach back, elevate the front toe, heel. Take it one more time, inhale, exhale, and then pull back. Pop up through that back front heel, onto the tippy toes, reach, 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 both arms expand back. Now straighten out and reach forward, elbow to hip, and reach back, elbow to hip. Like you're making this W shape, reach and expand, left fingers towards the front of the mat, right knee can be soft, reach back. Both arms expand. Trikonasana, back through triangle pose, this time arms pulling in opposition. And then bend into that back knee, left knee, or skandasana. Shift into triangle pose, skandasana. Triangle pose, lower to pyramid. From pyramid, forearm, dolphin split. Again, what we've been working on. Push the shoulders down, lower to the forearms. Take a moment, maybe some hops here, or practice pincha. Reach the feet up, push the shoulders down, elbows into the mat. See if you have a moment to hold. You could take a neutral neck, shake it out. Strong shoulders, strong breath. Come on down. Step the right foot through. High lunge again. Crescent lunge, this time circling the arms, twist and spin up. Two more, twist, open twist. Close, twist, open, and hold. Stay here. Reach the right hand towards the left heel. Even if you need to, lean, lean, lean to get there. And then reach the left arm back. Hips press forward. Heart reaches up to sky. If you can't reach, hand to the small of the back. One more breath here. Slowly lift left elbow hooks. Right palms meet. Twist. Lift off the back knee if you can. And we're gonna take the arms down and make a circle to Skandasana. Sweep across to twisting lunge. Sweep back to Skandasana. Face the back of your mat. Find pyramid, no hands. Nose towards me. Take a moment to breathe here. Scoop in through the belly. Right hand down. Pivot the right toes. Swivel the hips. And then start to press the right shoulder down, find side plank. Bend the knees, left hand to the base of the skull, 
Press into it as you pry the heart open. Left knee to sky. Feel the side body stretch. Lift, 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 wherever you can take it. Maybe you come into a hovering wild thing. Keep pressing into the head. Hips up high, the toes might tap. Maybe you can straighten out the right knee. Try and come off. So the left knee is gonna try to come down towards the mat. Hamstring curl, hamstring curl. Reach the left toes towards the right hand and have a seat. Right foot comes in, crouching position. Drive into the right foot for three. Drive up for two. Slow lower. Drive up, warrior three balance. Warrior three to an optional handstand or just hold here. Hands plant down, index finger forward, press the shoulders down, tuck the right knee into the chest. See if you have a moment, and we'll meet in Chaturanga. Wherever you are, step, float, hop back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Shake out the head, pivot, sway those hips. Take some breaths. Left right leg. leg up. Take the right forearm down, bend the knee, open, stack the hip, left fingertips can be open. Just a breath. Left hand down, right hand down, tuck the knee in, step the foot through. High lunge, balance here. Charge forward, warrior three. High lunge, heart to sky. Charge forward, warrior three. Open up through balancing half moon. Flex the toes. Start to square the hips and shoulders, or stack the hips and shoulders. Soften into that left foot. Reach, reach, reach. Reverse warrior, pick up the front heel. Start to bend the right elbow into the right hip. And then spin forward. Left elbow to left hip. Spin back. The heel pops up. Side angle. Open, reach the right arms forward, right fingers forward, and reverse. Straighten out, triangle pose, trikonasana, reverse. Arms can stay the same, or we can start to extend them out and reverse. Find your trikonasana tri uh, triangle pose, and then just start to bend into skandasana. Uh, triangle pose, skandasana, triangle pose, palms down through pyramid, push the shoulders down, sweep that left foot back, lower down to the forearms, reach the left toes high, take a breath here, inhale, step back through, pop off the elbows, step through, high lunge again. Twist your lunge, and then make these big circle sweeps. Open, twist. Open, challenge that balance, and twist one more time. Open, and then hold the twist. Okay, hold those arms in all position. Start to reach towards left hand to right heel. The knee can come down, and we'll just lean. And then once you make the connection, or support it at the sacrum, you're gonna just start to Gaze up, feel the hip flexor on the right quad and hip. Reach the heart towards the sky. Big breath in and out. Cartwheel forward, take the right elbow across the left quad. Palms come to meet, twist a little deeper. Spin that sternum towards the thumbs. Maybe gaze goes up. From here, release, sweep the arms all the way back to Skandasana. Twisting towards the outside of the mat, and then across that front knee. Skandasana, you pivot on those toes. Open and then close. And then stay here. Shift to the back of the mat. Find your way into pyramid, no hands. Nose towards knee, arms can be up or straight back. One more big breath here. Left hand comes down. You might wiggle the left foot back just a few inches. And then we'll start to pick up the left knee. Bend both knees, push the shoulder down, and then take the right hand to the base of the skull. Start to lift the knee, 
up. Find your deepest expression of this big side bending, side plank Vashisasana. And then maybe the right toes try to reach the earth. Push that shoulder down, lift the hips. It can be hovering. Keep connection on the back of the head. One more breath. Start to bend the knee even more. Reach the toes back. Have a seat. Step the left foot in. Come into a crouching position. Drive it up for four. Slow lower. Three, a lot of core, a lot of strength from that left top leg here. Two. Drive it up. Slow lower. Drive it up. Warrior three. Crown of the head reaches forward. Toes and or heel reaches back. Play around with any shapes or balance here or plant the hands down. Send that right foot up to the sky, left knee into the chest. See if you can find a handstand or just some practice with kicking up. When you're ready, you'll float into your vinyasa, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Exhale through downward facing dog. Forearms lower, knees slowly hover. Protract the shoulders around the spine here, and then hug right knee in, left knee in, right knee in, left knee in, lower to the knees, supported headstand. Bind the hands, they can stay fists closed or fists open, back of the skull into the hands, elbows in closely under the shoulders. Hug right knee, hug left knee, maybe both. Tuck, stay here, push the shoulders down. Very little weight on the top of the head here. You might even be able to pop up into pincha. If you feel strong enough, press the hands down and see if you can push the floor away. Finding pincha, and then maybe slowly coming back through headstand. Bind the hands or keep the hands flat on the mat. Come back the way you came from, hug the knees into the chest, toes land, knees fall, and we're kneeling. Deep breath in and a big sigh out. Doing awesome. Just gonna close the class with a little bit of back bending. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pry the heart open as you drop the head. Reach the fingers to the mat and then push the chest away. See how your neck's feeling today? And maybe we lift the hips and lower them a few times here. The bottom end of the camel. A little pelvic thrust. Good, lifting and lowering the hips. If you can, we're gonna keep sending the hips forward and then charge up. Lower back down into your Ustrasana camel pose, supported or a little bit deeper, reaching for the heels. You might tuck the toes under to give yourself a little bit more height here. Pull the hips and chest forward and up. Let gravity take over. Let the breath move through the body. Press your hands into your hip flexors. Tuck the chin. Come down slowly, child's pose. Shift those hips from side to side. Deep breath in and big sigh out. Rag doll up. Right hand down, right knee pops open. Lower the hips, press it up. Lower the hip, drive it up. Just two and one. Balance here. Grab the outside top of the foot, kind of like a sugar cane on the knee. And we're gonna try to lower down to forearm. We've been doing a lot of forearm work. Challenging balance, pull the hips back. Let the shoulder open. Push the right shoulder down, the bottom shoulder into the mat. Take one more breath here. Slowly melt onto the hips. Pop back up onto the hands and go to the other side. Shimmy those hips across. And then pop that left, right arm up right toes back, lower and lift. Sink the hips, thrust them up. Two, one, hold. Start to lift the right leg, grab it, reach back, partridge pose. 
When you're ready, try to drop to the forearm and continue to lift the heart, open the chest, feel the back strength, kick the foot into the hand, and release that. Come all the way down onto both forearms and onto the belly. Deep breath while you're here. As you inhale, locust fly. Bend the knees, kick up a little higher. Active bow. Bring the hands down. Press yourself into puppy pose. Charge the chest down. Chin forward if that doesn't feel too intense. Or you could set a block or a blanket down. A deep breath here. Pick up the chest, roll back to the belly. Hands by the chest like wings. Lift the upper back, lift the lower back, lift the upper back, lift the lower exhale. Calm down, bring your knees, chest, and chin down. Puppy pose with hands by the chest. If you have a chin stand in your practice, you don't have to be very flexible. We'll hug the elbows in, in right into the ribs, kind of push them in there, and then chin taps, kick up, use the fingertips, use the hands. I have a chin stand tutorial if you need it. Chaturanga, upward facing back. Stay on the toes right here. Shine the heart through. Push the hips forward, arch the back, exhale, downward facing dog. Walk forward to the top of the mat. Let your head hang, shake out. Come to your half squat, belly to thighs, arms forward. Have a seat as slowly as you can, rounding the spine, and then slow lower for three. Fight for it, two. On one, low boat. Big breath here. In and out for three, two, and one. Reverse curl to plow. Tap the toes into the wrists. Slow lower. Point the toes. Engage the quads. Engage the core for three, two, and one. Bring the feet down, elbows down, hips up. Wedge those hands under the hips, lift the hips up high. Enjoy this hip flexor, quad, heart opener. Feel free to stay here, or let's make it a little more active. Release the hands, lift the right knee. We're gonna thread the right knee under like you're doing a reverse pigeon. Feel the right knee hit the mat, keep the hips up. Think reverse pigeon pose. Pulse here for four, three, two, one, slowly pry out of that. Extend the right foot. Anyone feeling really strong? See if you can press into wheel pose with the right leg lifted. Place your hands right by the shoulders, fingertips back. Start to push into the left leg and charge up. It's quite challenging. If it didn't work for you, put the foot down and slow lower on one foot. Roll down, left knee up. Hips back up, wedge the shoulders a little closer together. Thread that foot under, let the left knee go in external rotation. Pulse up four, three, two, one, hold it. Unpeel that left knee up towards the sky, hold it. So if you wanna try that wheel pose on one foot, set your hands up. Maybe you stop on the top of the head for a moment, it takes a lot of strength. Press up, breathe, straighten out the bottom leg maybe, push the chest towards the back of your mat, slowly, arm strength, roll out of it. Wash the knees from side to side. <sighs> Hug the knees into the chest. Deep breath in, compression, and release. Find your Shavasana. Whether it's extending the legs, elevating the legs, butterfly, caving the knees inward. Heart rate's high, maybe you're sweating. See if you can just find a place where you calm the breath, calm the body and mind. 
Stay as long as you like. I'm gonna leave you here in your pose of rest. Releasing any tension through the forehead, eyebrows, jaw, and tongue. Let the fingers naturally curl. Let the sacrum start to ground down the back of the head, sinking down, letting go of any tension in the body, allowing this pose of rest to really restore and repair and energize the body as you let go. Again, I'll leave you here, but stay as long as you like. I just want to take a moment to thank you for sharing your practice with me. It means the world to me. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to smile. Take this energy with you throughout your day or evening. And again, thank you. Leave me a comment so I know you are here, and I will see you very soon. Bye.